Hey there friend, do you ever have trouble closing the sale or even like making the sale or handling objections or questions that might be getting thrown at you in your process? <laughs> Many years ago, I learned that the energy that you project is typically the energy that you attract. And typically we are taking our businesses and taking ourselves way too seriously. Today, I want to share with you a couple of things that I learned to do and I now implement on a regular basis in my business that helps change the energy of the conversations that I am having with my prospects. And it typically gets them to sign up relatively quickly now with more excitement. And it's also made the process a whole lot more fun for me. So let's dive in. Welcome to the Wired to Crush It show. I'm your host, Tanya Liza, and I've been in the network marketing profession since 2009, and I have built my entire business 100% online using my automated selling and recruiting systems. I've built a multiple seven-figure brand and business now, and I share this with you to say that this stuff works if you go out and implement it. I always found it really, really funny that whenever somebody gets something in their hands that they have to sell or they have to recruit for, if you're in network marketing, uh, they go from you know posting normal stuff on social media that's actually great, having normal conversations that are amazing, and then immediately when they have something that they have to talk about that they sell, they go from like human to weird. Now I get it because when I have to show up and do one of these videos for you guys, like this is pure value. Like I'm not selling anything in this video. I'm literally just showing up and giving value to my marketplace, helping and training and giving tips. And anytime I have to do that, I don't really feel a lot of pressure. I just get excited that I get to do that with you. Now, when I have to do a sales video for like a sales page, or we have like a new promotion or an offer, I can feel that I get a little bit weird too. I'm like, oh my gosh, this has to be perfect. I have to say the right thing. And if I don't, like, I, I'm, I'm, I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, the worst thing, that, there's never an emergency that is life-threatening in what we do, right? So I totally understand that when somebody has something that they have to like, you know, they, they have a little bit more pressure on themselves with, they go from human to weird. This doesn't even just happen with me or even with you. It also happens if you're running a team, it, it happens with your team too. So we have to help not only ourselves navigate through this, we also have to help our team navigate through this as well. So I'm gonna give you six things that I implemented that I think made the world of a difference and also helped me make more sales, a ton more sales actually, but it also made the process a whole lot more fun for myself. And in doing so, if you tune in each week, you know that I like to equip you with each episode with a free resource that you can actually use in your business and see results with. So today, since we're talking about, you know, not taking yourself too seriously and some things that you can do to have more fun with your process and give it a light bubbly feel because nobody wants to join or buy from somebody that's really serious and doesn't have that good fun energy, right? So since we're talking about that, I decided that I would put together for you 10 sales driven introduction scripts. So if you're not sure how to start your sales conversation, whether it be in a social media post or whether it be in messenger, text message, phone, whatever your modality is, I wanna give you 10 ways that you can do this absolutely free. And wherever you're tuning in, I'll leave in the description area a link where you can go and get this, or you can head over to the blog at tanyaaliza.com forward slash 342. I'll leave a link for you so you can go there and it's easy. And you can get those absolutely free. You'll see this video on my blog and then right below the video, there'll be a big yellow button, click it, request it, and use them. And then share with me how you love them and how they're helping you. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do that makes this so much more fun and effective and makes you more sales is you have to detach yourself from the outcome. Because when you're so attached to the outcome of, I need this person to say yes, or I need this person to buy from me, right? If you're attached to that outcome, it's going to put you in so much fear that number one, you might not be executing what you know you need to do to get what you need to get done. But the thing that it is, is when you have pressure on the process, your prospect is going to feel the pressure and whatever you pursue repels, okay? So whatever you like pursue, they're gonna repel. So we're gonna be going like this. So when you detach yourself from the process, it becomes 
more fun. It becomes that push pull, right? So that push pull effect, like that energy, you have to just completely take it away from the equation. So for me, when I did this, and I remember when I joined um, my network marketing company that I'm in right now, I'm gonna run it. I'm not gonna let it run me. That was like my goal when I got in. And I said, and one of my biggest, biggest goals is, and commitments is I'm going to make this fun. I'm going to make it fun for me. I'm going to make it fun for my team. I'm going to make it fun for my prospects. So in conversations, I made it fun and I detached myself from the outcome. So that's number one, detach yourself from the outcome. Number two, smile more. I needed this coaching. I still need this coaching so much that I actually have sticky notes on my computer and whenever I do Zoom call presentations, whenever I do sales video presentations, even when I'm shooting these YouTube videos for you, I am reminded to smile more. When you smile, even if it's through people can't see you, like if, they're, if, you're, if it's on the phone, if it's text, if it's messenger, and you're smiling, it is so weird how that energy still comes across to your prospect. It transfers over into the conversation and people don't want to be around anybody that's stuffy or too serious. So don't take yourself so seriously. Laugh and giggle through the process. We're not selling life insurance unless you are, then maybe it, I would still make it fun. If you were selling life insurance, I would still find a way to make selling life insurance fun. But we have to have that fun energy that attracts. People don't want to be around people that are too stuffy and serious. We have enough of that in the world, people want to surround themselves with good energy. So smile more. Third thing, use emojis and gifts. Okay. Use emojis and gifts. So I had this fun challenge that I did with my team and this was a maybe about four years ago now. And I told my team, I said, look, we got to remember not to take ourselves so seriously when we're in prospecting mode and when we're in conversations and when we're following up, we need to have fun with the process because we're going to attract better people if we're like that. If we're so serious, our prospect's going to be really serious. We're going to attract all these crazy objections and questions that we don't want. So then start to have a little bit more fun with this. I said, I'm going to bet you guys that I can recruit new team members onto the team with just using gifts. So what did that look like? Well, if I was following up with a prospect or having an introductory conversation with them, trying to like reach out, maybe I would send the gif of somebody like waving instead of just typing the word, hi, how are you today? I have like a gif of somebody waving, hey, how are you today? So there's different energy in that, right? If I had somebody ask me, how much money can you make with this opportunity? I could A, get super technical and boring with the compensation plan, which by the way, I never recommend doing. And I have an objection handling video for you for that, that I'll try to remember to leave in the show notes for you below if you wanna overcome how does the comp plan work and you don't wanna get into the details because in fact, getting into the details is going to uh, hurt the process anyways. But what I ended up doing is I sent a GIF, by the way, with a gal, I don't know if you've ever seen it, where that gal is laying in a bunch of like money bills and she's doing like snow angels in all of the money. <laughs> okay, so what is that doing? It's having fun. And basically what your prospect is doing on the other side of the table, whether they've said it or not, is they are analyzing the process that you're putting them through because that is what they're going to need to do with their people. And if you make it cumbersome and if you make it exhausting or if you make it in any way, shape or form, something that they feel that they can't do or they don't have time for, you're not gonna close the sale, right? So we wanna close the sale, we wanna keep it simple, we wanna keep it light, we can keep it fun. A really good way to do that is to use gifts and emojis to change the energy and to not take yourself so seriously in the process. Now I will caveat this in saying that there are different personality types of people that you will be dealing with in your prospecting. And when you're dealing with somebody that is analytical and they need details to make decisions and typically you can figure this out by having conversation in the in the types of things that they're saying so if they're like i need the details i am a planner or i like to have everything in the right order like that's a very analytical individual then they might very well need some more information than just a gif on how much money you make but that's just a way to start the conversation so that you keep the energy rolling light 
And then if you do need to get into some more details with those personality types, then you absolutely pick up on that as a professional and you do do that. The next thing that you always want to make sure that you're doing is having fun and try to make your prospect laugh right? So this can happen in story as well. So if you ask a question and somebody says, you know, I, I say, Hey, where are you from? They're like, Oh, I'm from Las Vegas. And then I have many funny stories from Las Vegas. I'm going to spare you the details on this podcast here, but I have many st funny stories of Vegas. And depending on the person that I'm talking to, I'll be like, Oh my gosh, I love Las Vegas. Funny story. And then I'll share something that will typically make them laugh. Again, this is a great way to not take yourself so seriously and to bring light into these conversations. Number five, don't pretend to know everything. In fact, even if you're not pretending and you really do know everything, like every little nitty gritty detail about the product or service or business opportunity that you hold, you do not want to stand on your pedestal and be like, I know everything and then cite out all of the nitty gritty details. Again, the details matter to a very, very, very small percentage of the people that you're going to be dealing with of the prospects. So if you want to make more money, again, you have to pretend that you don't know as much as maybe you do know. So I never bog people down with the details. Again, I used to do this without knowing the harm that it was actually doing in my process. And when somebody asked me a question that I use, that I would know all the like, ego boosting details on because it's typically what it's doing. It's like, oh, I know the answer to this and I'm going to answer it like the perfect way with all of the details. And that makes me look better and more professional. In fact, it does the opposite. What it does is it positions that situation in the process where your prospect is like, oh man, I have to know all of that too. I don't know if this is for me. Okay. Or you know, so now this is caveated if you're dealing with people who are looking at your business versus your products. If you have a tool that you can share, that's going to be the best thing that you can do versus you citing off all of the details and like giving yourself a little ego boost. It'll maybe make you feel good for a hot minute, but it's not going to make your prospect feel good. In fact, the details coming for you from you versus the details coming from a professional third party tool is actually uh, more credible anyways. So I always like to use the line of, hey, I don't know all of the details on that, but what I know is, and then I'll insert a relatable story that hits emotion versus fact, because most people are emotional buyers or decision makers. Um, very few people, like I said, need logic and facts and reason. Sometimes it's backed up by that, but initially people are attracted and entertained to something emotionally. So I say, hey, I don't know all the details. All I know is, and then I share a fun, relatable story. And then if you wanna back that up, because you always have to bring that back into the world, you can say something like, hey, is that something, knowing all of those little nitty gritty details, is that something that you absolutely 100% need to know and is a decision maker for you in regards to buying XYZ product, joining XYZ business. The last thing to remember, number six, is people want to join something fun, exciting, light, and not heavy and cumbersome. So just remember the whole thing about this process is, is keep things light, fun, and something that gives the energy that they would want to be attracted to and associated with. And remember, I have a really great resource that goes together with this episode, which is my 10 sales driven introduction scripts that I think you're absolutely going to love. So make sure to pick those up over on the blog at tanyaeliza.com forward slash 342. I'll leave a link in the description area of where you're tuning into this show. If you think this would be useful to any of your people or your teams or any of your network, make sure to share this video with them. Make sure to say, hey, stop taking yourself so seriously. Let's help you get more sales happening in your business. So share it with them. Comment below. Let me know what you love most about it. Let's go crush our week and I'll see you next week on the show.